Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. And tonight, I've got an unboxing for y'all. This box comes to me from my buddy John over at the Sharp Spot Facebook page. I kind of alluded to it the other day in my last video. But uh, John has an incredible collection of traditional knives. You know, everybody kind of, the sharp spot, it's a it's a knife page on Facebook. And everybody shows all their different, you know, what do they have, what do they carry, all that type of stuff. And John usually posts, he's been on the street now for at least a week of posting just some awesome traditional knives. So, him and I got to talking and, you know, he's watched a few of my videos here. And he was just like, well, hey man, would you like to review some of my knives? I was like, uh. Well, yeah, that would that would be awesome. I personally don't have a lot of traditional knives, slip joint knives, in my collection. Um, no specific reason. I guess, I don't know. I guess you could call it wanting to be tactical or tactical, however you want to put it. But I don't. I don't have a lot of traditionals. And that's, that's well, it's kind of sad, actually, because there's a lot of beautiful traditional slip joint knives out there. Um, Case makes a bunch of just great looking knives. So, John said, I'll send you some knives, buddy. You can review them. And I'm like, thank you very much. So, John, here we go. Thank you for trusting me with these knives out of your collection. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Probably should have done this off camera, at least cut the tape, but... You know it's a true unboxing that way. All right. Wow, all right. What do we got here? It looks like there's a note in here. So, first off, what do we got here? Case knife. WR Case and Sons. Let's see. So this one isn't... Appaloosa. I'll tell you what, guys, we'll take a quick look. But I want to, I want to actually do a review on these knives. So, oh, nice, nice little sow belly there. Cool. Just to be perfectly honest with you guys, I have to do some homework. I didn't know what he was going to send me. So, I, I definitely need to do my homework on these knives. I need to beef up my traditional. What I got here? So, this is a gray trapper. All right. Oh, yeah. Just another great looking knife from Case. Ah, oh, these are excellent. Beautiful knives. Like I said, I don't know why. I don't because they're they're they are. They're beautiful. They're they're great for EDC. They make a perfect backup EDC knife. I don't know as if I would, you know, EDC it for protection and that type of thing. That's where probably more like the knives that I typically review come into play, but We've got a Great Eastern Cutlery here. Odie Green Linen Micarta, it calls it. All wrapped up in wax paper. Oh, man. How can you tell me that's not a beautiful knife? Nice little leather lanyard on it. That is absolutely terrific. Terrific knife. That kind of reminds me of the uh, the Trapper, or not the Trapper, excuse me, the Bushmaster Bushcraft knife that I just did a review on here not too long ago. Very similar, kind of that Sodbuster, um, Sodbuster frame on it. And last but not least, what do we got? Rough Rider Buckshot Bone. All right. Let's check this one out. Oh, it's hiding on me. Oh, wow. Check that out. 
Wow. That's just another terrific looking knife. Excellent. Well, that's what's in there, guys. I'm going to set these right here. I am going to re be reviewing each one of these knives. That's why he sent them to me. But I need to get smart. I need to get ex educated on them. And... Oh, wow. That's awesome. I just, I'm going to show you this, guys. I just opened this up. I don't know if you can read that, but it says the Rough Rider Buckshot Bone Cotton Sampler is a little surprise for you to keep. I hope you enjoy reviewing these knives. Wow. Dude, John, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. That is very cool, man. Um, yeah, wow. I'm a, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I appreciate it, my man. Now, I know John's been telling me that he's, uh, he's in the process of getting an actual YouTube page, or YouTube channel, excuse me, set up, so he can review traditionals. I think he said he was going to review traditionals and some fixed blades. Now, I don't know if he means just like EDC fixed blades or fixed blades, blades as a whole, but he told me don't quite blast him out yet because he's, he's waiting for some more equipment to show up and doesn't have a lot of content right at the moment. But, uh, yeah, as soon as he says go, I'm going to be spreading the word about, about his channel. Trust me, this is awesome. Um, he trusted me with his knives, guys. And... You know, I mean, we've just spoken a little bit on Facebook, and he was nice enough to send me something to keep. So, I I appreciate that very much. So, all right, guys. That's the unboxing of my, we'll call it the loner box from John from the Sharp Spot Facebook page. And if you guys haven't ever checked out the Sharp Spot, check it out. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, it's a good page. A lot of... A lot of good people there sharing some pretty cool knives. Uh, JR's got the page going really well. And he plays some, I don't know, not necessarily games, but challenges, so to speak. The one he just did was pick out the knife that started your addiction. And each day, like for four days, post a picture. It was like, post a picture of the knife, tell, you know, tell a little bit about it. The second one was uh, post the knife of something that you like to do. Uh, the other one was the knife out in public, and then the knife out in nature. So it's just, it's just kind of fun little stuff to do. So yeah, check out the Sharp Spot. I'll definitely leave a leave a comment, or leave the d link in the description. And yeah, look for a review of all these knives, guys. I'm going to get myself smart on them, and hopefully share, you, share some good information with you. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.